Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah Ladi hadana lihada Wa ma kunna linah tadia Laula an hadana Allah Ashadu ala ilaha ilallah Wa ashadu anna muhammadan Abduhu wa rasuluh Allahumma salli ala muhammad Wa ala alihi Wa ashabihi Wa man tabi'ahu bi isan ila yaumitin Amma ba'd Hello student Meet you again We continue our lecture to next topic. That's about the control configuration. Today we talking about control configuration. Okay, in our metal before we have top. about liquid tank and liquid heating tank and today I will show you in illustration about uh, distillation column the control scheme in control scheme in distillation column and we call this control scheme is feedback control feedback control We give you example for distillation column system. We have the distillation column here, and we introduce one feed F, and then in the top we have vapor product, and we condense this vapor. Using condenser, and then we accumulate this using accumulator. We have the accumulator here to accumulate the liquid. It come from the vapor that condensed by condenser, and then from this accumulator. We split into two stream. One stream is destilat. We call this destilat. You know about this. And the second one, we introduce or we feed back into the column. We call this. As the reflux, this is the reflux. Okay, this is the reflux. This destillate. In destillate, we have X T. What does it mean about X T? That is the composition of destillate. Similarly, in the top. In the bottom, we have a reboiler here. We have reboiler here, and we split the stream into two split two stream. Firstly, we have bottom product, and part of the vapor that vaporized by con by by reboiler. Is fit back to the column like this. In this column, we have the ZF here, the composition of fit, and from the fit, the vapor that. Produced by the des by the distillation column, overhead vapor. We know this is the overhead vapor. Overhead vapor will condense by condenser, and then the liquid form from the condenser will accumulate using the accumulator. Here the condenser.
and this is the accumulator and the liquid from the accumulator tank will split into two stream the first layer will be fit back again to the top column we call this as reflux and then the another stream as destillate here we have the destillate this is the destillate and in destillate we have xd we have xd here that is the composition of destillate the similarly to the top column we have put the bottom product the b as bottom product bottom product and we have xp the xp the composition of the bottom product that is the distillation column that we have uh, in here we have the liquid from the column the evaporate by uh, reboiler and then some vapor we fit back again to the column to the bottom column and we have the bottom product here okay okay that is the con the distillation column that we the operation of distillation column okay from this what is the objective of the distillation column what is the objective What is the objective of the control in distillation column? We consider to the top product, we consider to the top column or the top product, we consider here, focus in here. What is the objective of the control system here? The objective of the control system here is to maintain the composition of distillate. Okay, you agree this? We have to maintain the destillate composition. So, we can call this that the objective of the control system here is we have to maintain XD into the XD desire, the desire value. Okay, we have to maintain the composition of destillate. Okay, the con consider to the before topic. Consider the before topic. What does it mean about this? We can say this: the control variable. Control variable. So the x d is the control variable variable that have to be controlled and we have to maintain the xt into the desire value in here we call this the xt desire okay we can illustrate to you the control variable and we have another variable what is the another variable manipulated variable so we have to decide what variable as control variable and which the variable as manipulated variable we have here the control variable is xt with the variable as the manipulated variable do you know about the xt 
what is the variable what is the parameter that influence to the xd what the parameter reflux you know what this the reflux when the hiker reflux we will get the hiker xd composition the more volatile component will hiker in the xd composition so the reflux will give effect to the xd composition so we can see this the control variable is xd and the manipulated variable is reflux okay so what the control scheme for this scenario manipulated variable is reflux and the control variable is xd what is the scheme we can illustrate the scheme from here we have to analyze composition we have use analyzer using analyzer and from this analyzer we get the xt and this xt will compare to the desired value we have xt desire if this is minus this is we can note this as minus and this is the plus so the comparator will produce the error here and produce the error and the error will send to the controller controller here send to controller and the controller will act to the system to manipulate the reflux so we have set here the control valve like this that is the control valve to maintain the flow rate of the reflux and the flow rate of the reflux will control by the controller so that is the scheme that is the control scheme for the distillation column and we want to control the xd by manipulation of the reflux parameter okay that is the basically of feedback control scheme we can see this in feedback control scheme the control variable for this example we have the xd as the control variable we have to measure this variable so in feedback control scheme the basically in feedback control scheme we have to measure the control variable the control variable is measure that is the basically in feedback con control scheme okay and next we continue to the next topic on the next scheme the next scheme is for what control scheme okay I will use a distillation column, illustration using the distillation column. Okay, in the second control scheme, we have the feed forward control. Uh, in here, we have the distillation column. That is the distillation column. They introduce the feed stream. 
the ZF in the V3 and the top of the column we cut the vapor product and we use the condenser to condense the vapor and we accumulate this in the accumulator tank and then we split the stream into the two stream firstly is destillate and we have this the XT the composition of destillate and in this we have the reflux reflux here Similarly to, the, similarly to the top, in the bottom column, we have the reboiler here and the feedback stream of the vapor. This is the liquid, this is the fifth stray, and this is the top stray. And we have the bottom product and the XP of the bottom product that is the distillation column operation okay we consider to the before topic what is the control objective in this system what is the control objective the control objective we have the two part variable here the control variable and the manipulated variable the control variable is xt into the xt desire okay and the correspond to this variable the manipulated variable is reflux okay exactly same to the feedback control schema exactly same in feedback control schema in P4 topic we have to measure the XD the control variable is measured in feedback control schema in feedback control the XD is measured the x is measured the control variable is measured that is the basically of feedback control how about in feedback forward control in this control scheme we will analyze the load variable we know about this there are two types in input variable manipulated variable and load variable what is the load variable the load variable is this turbines you no know? the load variable is this turbine what is the this turbine in the system the this turbine in this system it must be the flow rate of feed or the composition of it flow rate of feed or the composition of it so in feed forward control the load variable is measured in feedback control the control variable is measured but in feed forward control in forward control schema the load variable is measured so in here we measure the flow rate of feed we use the analyze composition we use the analyzer composition and exactly same analyzer composition we use the analyzer composition here 
okay but in this scheme we do not have the x uh, we do not have the desired value or uh, to compare this composition of the feed but the output of this analyzer is will produce zf we assume that at zf the same exactly same to the zf and then we'll send to the controller here we have the controller here the zf sent to the controller and the controller will act to the reflux screen act to the reflux screen to manipulate the reflux screen okay in the fade forward control what variable is measured the LV is measured. That is the basically in fade forward control. Fine, we concluded here. Feedback control in feedback control scheme, the XD XD is in the control variable is measured. And in forward and in forward in fit forward control in fit forward control fit forward control the load variable is measured that is the basic of fit forward control fine we continue to the next topic to the next game i think into the next game that is the inference controls scheme okay here we use the same example we use the distillation column to one fit stream and the condenser and the accumulator and then the XT and the testilat and then this the reflux In another side, we have the boiler here and the pull up stream and the bottom product and the bottom composition. We have the feed and feed composition. That is the this is the column operation. This is the feed tray. This is the top tray. Okay, that is the column. This is column operation. The objective control in here is exactly same to the feedback control and feed forward. The control variable is XD and the manipulated variable is a reflux. Okay. Why we always use this XD and reflux? Because the parameter that influence on the XD composition and the significant parameter is reflux okay and we know this 
Fed in input, this is the output variable here, output, and this is input. In input, we have the manipulated variable and load variable. Always, we have to type in input. So, we have choose a variable to maintain and a variable as disturbance. There are two input here will influence to the output variable. We maintain the error to respond to disturbance or loop variable. That is the basic concept in controller. Okay. Fine, this is the basic con in control system. In inferential control scheme, the control variable xt, the control variable xt is not directly measured, is not directly measured. Because when we analyze the composition, composition analyzer, we has we have the lag here, time delay. high most the high investment high investment we can see this the delay because when we analyze the composition it cannot exactly real time like the temperature maybe so we have the delay so when we measure directly to the composition it is very difficult because when the delay of measure result when the response of controller we have the delay time too and how about the action to the manipulated controller will delay too so it is difficult to use this control scheme in inferential control scheme we not measure the xd directly we can use the another variable another variable that can show the composition what is the another variable that can show the composition we know that in distillation column in every single or in every single state the composition of the vapor and liquid is in equilibrium equilibrium system you know this in equilibrium equilibrium what is the variable that refer to the equilibrium pressure and temperature So when we know the pressure and temperature or we know the temperature of the system or we know the temperature in the states or in the plates, when we know the temperature in the states, we can predict the composition. Okay? That is the basically concept in inference control scheme we not 
measure the control variable directly. So that is the basic. We not measure the control variable directly because when we analyze the composition, we have the time delay and high investment. Time delay and high investment. What do you mean? What do you what do you pain? What do you opinion when we use or we measure the temperature in the tray here? We have the first tray here and the second tray here. What do you think when we measure the temperature here? This is the temperature second and then this is the temperature one. What do you think? Can we predict the composition of distillate by collect the information in the temperature of the tray 1 and tray 2? Can we predict the composition of the distillate? Do you agree with this? We can predict the composition of distillate by the measure of temperature. Okay? That is the concept. Of that is the basic concept of the inferential control scheme. So in this scheme, we set the estimator here. Oh, we set the estimator here. The estimator need information from temperature in tray 1 and temperature in tray 2, for example. And we know in this estimator, we'll calculate the composition of the distillate based on the temperature of tray 1 and tray 2. So, in this estimator, we have the mathematical equation yes it must be we have the mathematical equation here so and then estimator will produce the prediction of xd we'll calculate this calculator or model We'll calculate Xt based on temperature 1 and temperature 2, temperature in tray 1 and tray 2. And then the Xt producing from estimator will send to the controller. Send to the controller. Then the controller will act to the recycle. Act to the recycle. That is the basically of inferential control scheme. So in this concept, we do not measure the XT directly. But we measure the temperature in tray 1 and tray 2. We can measure the temperature instantly. Instantly. The time delay in temperature is very literally. We can estimate the temperature of the system as soon as we just need a little time to know the temperature of the tray we just need the little time so the time delay is very little so we can predict the xt and then the control will act to the ref reflux to maintain the axis. That is the inferential control scheme. 
So in inferential control scheme, we not directly measure the control variable, but we measure the secondary variable that inference to the control variable. In this case, we measure the temperature of 3.1 and 3.2 to predict the XT, to predict the testylate composition. Fine? Okay, that is all. We have discussed the three concepts in control configuration, the feedback control, and then the second concept, is, uh, the second scheme is feedback, feed forward control. You know this, in feedback control, we have the XT as the control variable, and we have to measure this variable. And in second control scheme, in, con in second control scheme, feed forward control, we measure not XT but the LV or the load variable. We measure the load variable. And in the third scheme, in the third scheme, the inferential control scheme, we do not measure the control variable directly, but we measure the second variable that inference to the control variable. For example, in this distillation column, we analyze or we, we measure of the temperature in the tray, for example, in tray 1 and tray 2, to predict the XT. So we do not measure the XT directly. Okay. That's fine. This is that's all for this. Uh, this that's all for our lecture in this week. And I will keep you in the task special for this week. I want you make the conclusion about what is the difference of three concept in uh, different of in three concept or in three schema of the control system here. Okay? Make a resume or conclusion. I want you to make mesh resume or conclusion that is about the different what is the different of one or the first second and three first second and third of the control scheme. Okay? That's all. Thank you very much for attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.